Hey guys, Cal here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be Town Hall 12 farming, not with Sneaky Goblins, but with the Electro Dragons. Uh, I wanted to do a video on this, just in case there are people who do not farm enough with the Sneaky Goblins to uh, really effectively want to use them because they don't gain enough Dark Elixir. I think that's for like less active players. So, Electro Dragons is a really great substitute for that army. So I do the classic 8-8 eight, eight with uh, 3 rage, uh, 5 invisibility, uh, 5 free spells. If you're a Town Hall 11, um, you can do, pretty much you always want the 8 Electro Dragons and fill the rest with balloons. But your spell composition will be the same. And the general game plan will also be the same. But I guess I'll also send a Town Hall 11 video on this because you're probably watching this if you are Town Hall 12. So we're currently Master 3. Um, I think this is a bit high. We could go down and drop to Crystal 1, but uh, we can definitely still make it work up here in Masters. So what we're doing is we're essentially looking for a 5k Dark Elixir raid. That's a bit the minimum I really look for because the Electro Dragons just take so long to train. So here we have a 5 K elixir dark elixir raid i won't use my heroes because i feel that uh if you're dark elixir farming you might not have max heroes uh, or any heroes up at all so what i like to do here is i like to drop a rage and uh knee drag just to chain as much stuff they are really explosive under rage um and can really take out a lot of stuff really quickly so here we're unlucky to get an Electro Dragon, but I guess you can't always be lucky, so it's good to see what to do in this type of situation. But as you can see, our Electro Dragon lost to that Electro Dragon, but then beat it with the Lightning. I've never seen that happen, but you know, there's a first for everything. Uh, so, now we're going to try getting into this Dark Elixir. Uh, and because, I'm going to do some drawing here, because there's this gap right here, and right here, it's going to make it very difficult to funnel. So. For us to go into the base like this, we have to clear out this entire area right here and this entire area right here. Uh, if I was using my heroes, I would use my heroes for this side. That's a bad color. I would use my heroes for this side right here uh, because that would be easy and electro dragons in blue for this side because I can rage it up. But because I only am going to be using the electro dragons, I will just pretend that I'll just show you what I would do. So right here, there isn't anything much here, so I'm not going to use a Rage for this Electro Dragon, but because there's an Air Defense right here, I'm going to drop my E-Drag right here under Rage uh, to take this out. Uh, it's getting fired, so I will also drop a Freeze, just to make sure that my Dragon can get this Air Defense. Boom, just like that. And we're just going to keep on chugging, see where this E-Drag is going. It's going to go underneath this Air Defense right here, so I'm going to freeze this air defense to make sure that that funnel has been formed on that right side. I could have froze again, which I probably should have because of how low that air defense was, but uh, it's too late for that now. We're going to go straight into the main force of the attack. We're going to send in everything, which will hopefully go straight into that eagle, which it looks like it is. I'm going to freeze this air sweeper because it's going to push us back a lot, rage it up, freeze up this air defense and that air sweeper and uh, we're gonna then freeze this air sweeper and that queen and that single target inferno uh we won't get this town hall maybe because our e-drags are no longer under rage i will not use the rage in my cc because sometimes you don't get that cc troops boom that is taken out and uh, because we spent so much time talking we only have 30 seconds left in the raid but we got all the dark elixir except for Dark Elixir in here, which uh, is a shame, but it's only 300, and we can dump, uh, dip out of that attack. Got 5k, very good. Um, E-drags are really strong, so you don't have to worry too much about sending a ton into the core. Usually one or two is enough, that's why we're okay using some on the outside to get that Dark Elixir in the drills. So here we have really deep drills. Um, and even though this is 6k, I do not know if we want to attack this. I think 
because there's no sweepers, I'll do some more drawing right here. We have sweepers going this way and this way, which means that we can send our E-drags right down here, and it will take out this drill, this drill, and the Dark Elixir. So that means we don't need to spend too much E-drags funneling out and grabbing those, which means that we want to use our E-drag to get this drill right here, because that drill is unaccounted for. So we're gonna rage E-drag. The reason why we're raging here is because it's in the core and we really want to one-shot that. Boom, one-shot, and it's done. Now that all that's taken care of, we can ignore that. And I think we wanna do a bit of funneling on this left side because of that air sweeper, and we can do the rest of the push down here. Uh, I'll do this attack with heroes because I don't want to miss out on this dark elixir, but um, you know what? I won't do it with heroes. We will just go for it. I don't know why I froze that, <laughs> but we're going to go E-Drag Rage and move along. Ooh, is this going to go for that collector? It is going to go for that collector. I'm going to drop another in here to take that out. This is fine right here. We're going to go E-Drag here to funnel. And then we will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and we'll freeze this once the air, dark, air defense is starting to fire, which it is. Boom, going to freeze that up. Okay, now we're going to slowly move into the core of this base. Oh, we are frozen. That's never happened before. Uh, we're going to freeze this like that. We're going to freeze this like that. And we're going to rage once we get more into the core right here. Freeze this here. And we have a lot of low health E-drags. This might actually be a, a whiff, which is not great, seeing that uh, this is supposed to be a guide. But, uh, yeah, that's a whiff. So I guess we'll close it there. We still got the 1k uh, Dark Elixir, but I think we just didn't rage early enough there. Uh, so unfortunately, that wasn't a great example, but we'll show a replay of another attack that we did just so that you can see, uh, what's it called? A successful version of it. So here, we're trying to get that Dark Elixir down there and get the Dark Elixir up here. Uh, raging to get these inner, uh, what's it called? Dark Elixir drills. It's a bit wide, so it's hard for me to show you everything. And because I was doing it on my own time, I wasn't really considering how things would be talked to or talked about. So here I'm raging, I got that air defense right there, and I might be using my heroes for this one. Heroes of course help a tremendous amount, uh, so if you have access to the heroes, yeah I'm using my warden here. The warden is really great um, because of its tome ability. So you saw how much freezes we were using in the beginning of the raid and how much damage our E-Dragons took and one of the big reasons why we failed that most recent attack uh, is because when you use the Tome, you take away all the damage from your E-Drags whereas when we didn't have the Warden, we had to use those freezes earlier to protect our E-Drags um, from of course, damage. And even though we froze so much in the beginning, we still lost a lot of E-Drags. Like, look at these E-Drags right here because of the Warden and now being able to use the Freeze uh, later in the raid. These E-Dragons are pretty much full health, whereas we just started the raid in the last one and they already uh, went down. So, because we had our heroes, that just made it so that we could walk in and get this 3-star to really push up in trophies. I think the lower level or uh, lower town halls are uh, yeah, lower leagues are better for e-dragons because the higher defenses really shred e-drags um, and uh, just because it's a higher upgraded base doesn't mean it has more loot so why work harder when you can work smarter go lower into the bases or lower into the town halls and collect those easy loot raids rather than go up in trophies find a bit more Dark Elixir, but have to work harder and risk failing like the one that we just did now. So, because we failed and we wanted 5k, we're only at 
six about 7k dark elixir when we want to have 10 and that 3k if you file uh, fail enough times in a row can really add up so you want to make sure that you're getting the dark elixir and making sure that the bases are easy enough that you can do it consistently um, because uh, especially with e-dragons when you're waiting 50 minutes per attack uh, you really want to make them count so the big takeaway from this is to make it count um, really pick your bases smart and uh, just use your spells early protect those e-dragons get to that dark elixir I hope you guys did enjoy this video let me know if you want more e-drag videos because I feel like this one could have gone a bit better and I can bring you a more successful video but I did record this, so we're going to upload it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.